Hey besties, uh, it's your girl Mia and welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you guys are not new. So this is technically like part two of the Do De Jung reaction that I did uh, before. So now we're going to be reacting to the full uh, perfume album from Do De Jung. I still don't know what this is supposed to be but hopefully by now I do after the first video goes up. This is probably going to end up on my Patreon first before it ends up on YouTube. I'm not sure yet how I want to do it but it most likely is going to end up on my Patreon before youtube i after listening to kiss i was literally gonna hold off on this i was gonna literally do this like another day but after listening to kiss i realized that this album is up my alley and i need to listen to the full thing like i feel like this unit this subunit is giving very much sensual sexy r&b and that is just all me i'm an r&b girly okay i love me some r&b so i'm ready I'm so ready to dive into this and literally see what Doje Jung is giving because I am kiss just had me flabbergasted I'm still reeling from that so yeah if you guys want to see me react to the full uh perfume album then go ahead and stay tuned okay so the first song is obviously going to be perfume um I did already hear perfume and kiss I heard them in the other two in, a, I mean, in, the, in part one I heard perfume and kiss but the only reason why I'm going to be re-reacting to those is because both of those visuals were so strong that I literally was not paying attention to the lyrics at all like I do not know what the lyrics said or anything so i am going to be re-reacting to the song but this time i'm going to actually be reading the lyrics you know to see what the song is about to see what the song is giving and stuff so yeah the first song that we're going to react to say is perfume let's just go ahead and jump into this because i really want it like i'm so excited so here we go the vocals already given <laughs> That's a good song. Okay. Oh my God, the I'm sorry if I'm gonna be quiet, y'all, but I am like enjoying this. Like, oh my god. Ooh. It's going on my playlist. Baby, I'm comfortable. This is just so good. The RB is crazy. Oh my god. Oh. I feel this in my soul. Oh my god what an amazing song literally like 
I enjoyed that. The lyrics didn't really clarify anything for me. I thought maybe if I like react to the lyrics, I would kind of like see more than I didn't see before. But you know, like uh, Do Young said, this is supposed to be what he said, like Proust effect or something like that. I can't remember what it was called, but he said it's basically supposed to just say that certain scents are tied to certain memories. So he's just saying that's why they're calling it perfume because certain scents, like you know, certain perfumes can be tied to certain memories and you know, things like that. So yeah, I think that's just what they were talking about the entire song is that i'm gonna you're gonna remember me by the scent you know by the certain scent and i know there's a probably deeper more you know sensual meaning behind it but i'm just still too focused on the song to even care about that what a great song like actually what a great song i enjoyed that so much but yeah all right let's go ahead and move on to the next song okay so this next song is another one that i um heard in part one this is the kiss um song like i told y'all before like it literally had me shook in part one uh the song was amazing the visuals i was paying more attention to the visuals so like that's the reason why i wanted to, to read the lyrics because i like one they didn't have any captions in part one in the performance video anyways so i do want to see what the song is talking about because i heard something about on, in your lips or on your lips or something like that i want to kiss you so i want to know what the song is talking about on top of that i want to get a more clear like listen to the song because like i said in part one i was going going insane so i wasn't able to focus on the actual song itself but i feel like now i can since it's just the lyrics so yeah all right let's go ahead and jump into this oh my god the beat crazy I love this. Oh my God, the vocals. good this reminds me of so much of like ooh, one of uh michael's songs michael jackson oh my god God, I love this song, man. Like, I'm getting so lost into it. Oh, the breakdown. Oh, my God. Uh, wow. That was amazing. I, like, 
if the rest of the album is gonna be like the first two songs this is gonna be one of my favorite albums so far of this year and i mean i i listened to rover by kai and i like the album a lot like don't get me wrong that was one of my favorite albums but this might surpass that as being one of my favorite albums of the year because you know i'm an r&b girly and this is just r&b it's just so sexy and just so like like you can get lost in music like this and that's the type of music that i like like you know i'm normally used to like hard hitting songs and stuff like that but like those are songs that like wake me up like those hard hitting songs just like they wake me up they make me like like yeah like i feel so like motivated but this type of music just it, it's the type of music that you can get lost in that you can just put on when you're chilling in bed you just sit back close your eyes you know bob your head you just could get lost in this type of music this groove you know it has a little bit of soul in it too you know and that's just like this is my type of music so i'm excited i really hope the rest of the album sounds like this because if i don't like it i'm gonna tell you i don't like it but so far it's been a 10 out of 10 okay so all right let's go ahead and move on to the next song okay so the next song is called dive um i'm really excited to hear this because so far this the album has been very sensual so dive kind of sounds like a very questionable title what you diving into so i'm excited to kind of see what this is giving what this is about and hopefully i like it hopefully it's good y'all all right here we go oh okay oh my god oh my god i'm like wow i love this this is so sexy What I mean? Oh my God, this is so sexy! Wow! Ooh. Oh my God, the beat, the vocals. This is literally giving me like, oh my God, my ears are blessed. Oh, dive what? Okay, y'all look nasty. Oh my god, this is just so like it's so simple but perfect. melody oh i know i'm gonna enjoy this Ooh. i am vibing God, the vocals are crazy. Ooh. Oh, these lyrics are a little hmm. Give her what pad a little bit. Ooh. 
Ooh, dive into you a little deeper. Oh my god. They are nasty. Oh my god, yes. I love that song. I love that. That's the so far three for three. Like I've loved every single song that I've heard so far off this album. Like like I said, it's a, it's music that I'm getting lost in. Like I just can't help but vibe. And it's just it when it's over, I'm just like wow. Like it's over. Like it's ending that quickly. Like this was so good. And the funny the funny part, the funny thing, the funny thing about this song is that it sounded kind of simple. Like the beat was very simple. The like the, like just how it was how it's made just seems like it's very simple. There's not a lot going on, but it's still like just feels like. It's it's just so good so soulful so just oh my god like oh i love this i love this so much like oh my god hopefully the album continues to the, the to bless me we got three more songs so we finna see but yeah all right let's go ahead and move on to the next song okay the next song is called strawberry sunday so let's just go ahead and jump straight into it sounds already so sexy like it sounds so sexy already so all right oh yo it sounds a little bit like perfume. god i love this wow Ooh, oh my god wow oh the vocals Oh, time for dessert. What I mean. Okay, it's giving me 90s. Like, this is like a 90s song. Ooh. Wow. Oh, I love this. I'm living right now. Okay, that's it oh my god i love that i think that my it's between kiss and this to be like my favorite song off the album i really really like that one though that might be my favorite like that was just so like 90s so groovy like oh my god a lot of this album is like even though i don't know if it is it's giving me very much 70s disco a little bit even though i just said 90s <laughs> some of the like beats are giving me like 70s disco in a way or am i thinking of the 90s it's just it's very nostalgic is what i'm trying to say like it sounds very nostalgic and i really 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 like this like oh my god this is it's like i said i if this entire album is a no skip album it'll have it'll be my favorite of 
this year so far because wow this is amazing all right let's go to move on to the next song all right this next song is called can we go back so let's see if i like this because so far it's been no skips all bops so let's see if i like this okay okay Ooh. Okay. That was great that was great i will admit that it was my least favorite on the album like it you know it wasn't as like it didn't have me as like oh my god as the other ones did but it was still good like i said it was once again still something that like hit my soul like it just it, oh i actually really like that it's just like i said it wasn't my favorite it's like it's the least favorite on the album but it's still amazing and it's still going on my playlist like even after that stop in my head i'm still thinking about the ooh part like i'm like like wow that was really really good i enjoyed that and so far what is this five for five we're five for five y'all so far this is a no skip album like i'm enjoying this all right we got one more song let's go ahead and move on to the last song all right so the last song on the album is called ordinary so let's see what ordinary is giving let's see if we like it or not Ooh, okay it's gonna be a ballad Beautiful. Oh. Oh. 
to end the album what an album y'all like literally what an album for this this last song ordinary uh this is definitely my least favorite on the album not like i said once again not saying it's bad i think it's this ordinary and then above that would be the last one that we heard uh, can we go back i feel like that how the album kind of went was like in the beginning you know it was very sensual like if like i'm looking at it in a story perspective in the beginning it was like the couples together they're in bed they're being very sensual with each other and it continues to go down until it starts to get more romantic after they've you know they had their sensual moment it's now time for the romance of it all and it's just kind of like they're just hugging each other cuddling each other they're just kind of resting now and it's just they love each other and that's kind of like i feel like how the album went you know like in order because like the songs really went from like being super upbeat and super like um in your face to the end kind of being just very slow ballady and quiet and things like that so yeah i enjoyed that 10 out of 10 album like i said it's my favorite of this year so far it definitely is like you know don't get me wrong the, I, the only other album i think i've heard it's the best nct album i've heard so far i will say that because i'm still as y'all know getting into nct discography i know that like i still have so much more to go but you know i'm breaking it up like i don't want to just keep listening to each album like right after each album because i i'll get tired of hearing the same like voices over and over again so i'm trying to break it up as much as possible which is why there's so many videos in between when i wrecked to the last album but so far this is the best nct album i've heard yet like wow just i am just wow but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below also don't forget to subscribe and check out all of my social medias which will be linked in the description box and yeah i will see you guys in the next reaction bye bye